film about a Hollywood icon, a Hollywood legend, one of the founding fathers of Hollywood, and basically, Lily, you get to work with him I get as to well. work with him. Yeah. <laughs> what was that like? <sighs> oh, God, what was it like? Um, I just, I have it at, down in my head as this epic adventure. It was like my, my year with Warren. Now I guess it's about two or three years um, <laughs> with the making of and continuing on. But it's just, you know, he's a mindful of information from everything to do with the business, politics, um, pop culture, yes, family. Yes. There's never anything that you can't talk about. And I just would find myself fascinated on set just watching you, did asking you, questions. But and did you ever meet Howard Hughes? I liked when she was really talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> you go uh, on and on. Uh, yeah, well, um, um, uh, no. No. I feel that I met everybody who had ever met him. Uh, he fascinated me from when I was uh, even, no, about your age. And um, I felt that um, he was um, unnecessarily mysterious, let me put it that way. And that led me into a lot of comic confusions and conclusions uh, about him. But you said, I quote, you said making movies is like vomiting and you don't <laughs> like to vomit. Now, I don't like to vomit uh -huh. um, as well. It's a condition, isn't it? It is a condition. Do you know what it's called, a fear of vomiting? It's called emetophobia. I did not know that. Emetophobia. <laughs> um, I did not say I was afraid of vomiting. I said I don't like to vomit. No. I yeah. said there is a point with a movie where you think oh, I can't avoid it any longer and uh, maybe I will feel better if I just go ahead and throw up. What was it like for you as a young actress um, to, to suddenly be taken back to this world of old Hollywood, you know, 1940s, 1950s Hollywood? Do you think you would um, have liked it? Yeah, I, well, I grew up in, in Beverly Hills after I moved from England, from the countryside, and my mom has always immersed me in old Hollywood, um, from everything, the, histor the historical side, city work that she did there in, in L.A. Um, I was surrounded by old photos of what it used to look like. I watched old movies with her. My grandmother was a ballerina and an actress. My dad's mom was in the industry. So I very much grew up in a household that embraced old Hollywood and the golden, era, golden age of Hollywood. What about you now, uh, as a more mature man, working with these young actors? How does, well, that, how does that feel for you, passing on all this knowledge? Well, as you know, the love story in the movie is between Lily and Alden yeah. Ehrenreich, who's the new Han Solo, yeah. who is a wonderful uh, new actor. That was a good booking. Ah. Amazing. <laughs> he's, I couldn't be happier for he, him on he's, that. Um, he's, he's such a good actor. Yeah. And when you find someone at, like Lily and Alden that are really uh, inspiring, it's a lot more fun to... Uh, and Lily, go you're finding out a lot about yourself as well. You've just released a book. And um, as I understand it, this book came about uh, because on, on social media, uh, people would, would see you, they would enjoy your fame, they would enjoy what you're working in, the way you look, the lifestyle you lead. But a lot of them felt there was a sort of disconnect. You're a Hollywood star. What would you know about real life? What would you know uh, about us? And then that prompted you to put this, this book out, which, which is called um, uh, Unfiltered. Unfiltered, No Shame, No Regrets, Just Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I also kept getting told on numerous jobs and most recently at that point, Warren, to let go more, to let go whether it was in a scene or to just let go in life more and be in the moment. And I realized that the older I got, um, there was more that I needed to just let go in order to move on and become freer. And so it's just, it's not an autobiography, it's like no, kind of more... No, it's a, it's a bunch of conversations that I'm starting about topics that a lot of young women consider too taboo to talk about, but the second that we do, we realize we're not alone and you just become so much freer mm -hmm. and you just get to kind of unleash in written form. Um, I mean, social things. media is fascinating, don't you think, Warren? Do you, are you involved in any way in social media, Instagram or Twitter or Facebook? Do you engage like that? Or what do you think of social media? I believe a man who is not paranoid is a man who is not in full possession of the facts. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Write that down. As if it is not enough to have uh, the legend that is Warren Beatty in the studio. Warren Beatty is married to one of my favourite actresses, Annette Benning. Uh, you direct Annette. One of your favourite actresses? My favourite actress. Yeah, my favourite, my very, 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 very favourite actress, Annette yeah. Benning, who you direct in this film. Uh, I put it to you, sir. I am married to Ruth Langsford, uh, beside me here. 
and I feel that Ruth Langsford would never accept direction of mm -hmm. any sort. And she would be right. Uh, from me. W was it difficult to direct your, your own wife? I am lucky enough to get very good actors. So I like the other actors to have the feeling that they're sort of directing me also. So she's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that when she is on set, there is a, there is a, a, a way that the set moves that she would say, you know, okay, honey, we're done. We've got that take. Like, let's move on. Or, are you ready now? And, and then I remember when she left, she said, okay, Lily, your turn. You, and I went, well, I, wouldn't, I, don't, I don't, can't do that. That's not my job.